One of students' biggest complaints about their landlords are the extra fees they charge. Evening Edition's Justin Cabot's investigated complaints from several tenants with some hefty fines. Several students we interviewed say they were hit with extra fees after they moved out. And they're not the only people upset. Their parents are also angry. I'm really hoping Most new like students, like Drew Grawl, don't thoroughly check their lease before signing it. Drew and his roommate paid $750 a month for this. For Drew, not looking at his lease was a costly mistake. These little 15, 20, 25 dollar fees and he just tacked them on over and over and over and over and over again. Drew, a former tenant of Heartland Rentals and Properties, says his former landlord is charging him with more than $2,500 in fees. He says Heartland is threatening lawsuits and slapping him with a restraining order on all its properties. Drew says he maintained his apartment well and the fees are unwarranted. He claims uh, the floors were dirty, uh, the bathroom was dirty, the stove was dirty. Drew's mom says the landlord was wrong. When they walked out the door, there was nothing left in that apartment. It was all clean. But they aren't the only ones saying Hartland's bearing them with unfair fees. Court Palace, who lived across the street from Drew, says his parents spent hours cleaning the house. Uh, every, um, I mean, any type of crevice that was in that kitchen was clean that day. The refrigerator, I got it back to where it looked brand new. As for Drew, 700 of his $2,500 in fees is for lawn mowing. He says he mowed his lawn. But Drew says once a week, a man of the weeder strolled all Heartland's properties on Walnut, cut the edges around the house, and then moved on to the next property. I guess if he spent, you know, three seconds in your yard, it was three seconds enough to say, oh, I mowed his lawn, so hit him with the bill. Uh, we ended up getting a bill for $65 for 11 months, and the boys mowed. The palaces shared the girls' struggles with lawn mowing. Court's dad, who happens to be a landlord, says he mowed the lawn himself, but Harlan still charged them with mowing fees. He said the undergrowth and the mowing wasn't done. He said, you know, it was completely arbitrary, and I know that I spent two and a half hours mm -hmm. simply doing that. The city will find landlords if they don't maintain their lawns. But it also says it won't find for missing minor portions, such as the edges around the house at Drew's apartment. Given the, the uh, uh, occurrence that you've mentioned where it might be, you know, a few blades of grass around the tree or around the post, we do not call the contract mowers in to take care of that. It's the overall condition of the yard that we call the contractors in for. Drew was also charged almost $230 in paying rent late. But we've obtained copies of checks of all the months Hartland says Drew and his roommate were late. Drew says everyone shows that the rent was paid in full and on time. And the checks show they were all cashed within a week of the first. We're dated on the first, cashed every month. They were in that dry in his P.O. box at the post office every month on the first. And Harlan has a history of building code violations, ranging from leaky roofs, falling trees, and houses crawling with termites. We contacted Hartland for their side of the story. Owner Mike Wadiak says he has never commented oh, to reporters so in his business's almost 40-year existence and that the troublemakers are normally the ones talking. Steve Rogers of SIUC's legal assistance says he tries to educate renters about their landlord choice. We don't have a blacklist here. Uh, if landlords might ask me, are you telling people not to rent from me? I would say I don't tell them not to rent from anyone. Uh, but I do ask them to talk to your tenants. And if that's a problem, then you need to look in the mirror. All it takes is a quick Google search to find out what former tenants really think. But that doesn't help with these two families who are now struggling with mountains of fees. And this experience with this gentleman was uh, the most unique and an adversarial way that I'd ever dealt with a landlord before. It's certainly a landlord that's taken advantage of people and should be stopped. Now, most everything Heartland is doing is legal, but these students and their parents say there should be more consumer protections for student renters. 